Okay, today's training camp report. Seth Kaiser from The Athletic, Chris Clark from Locked On Chiefs and Chiefs Digest. You all know me, I'm sorry I'm back, but uh, got to, together today, first practice since the original preseason game. A couple of changes, uh, Mo Claiborne's out here for the first time, actually doing some extra practice as we talk. Uh, let's see, what were the other changes? Juan Thornhill starting with the, the ones in 11. Uh, what else? What did I miss? He, yeah, he also started with the ones when they were doing Redwood zone work as well. Yeah, he was mixing in and out with the ones. Uh, Claiborne's wearing number 20. Uh, a change on the offensive line with Alec Reddy going to center two. Um, that's not a huge change, but right, it is a change. So on the day, uh, who stood out to you, Seth? Uh, the shot Breland was exceptional today. He uh, he was playing quick and uh, oh my God, it's Josh Briscoe and Nate Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And God. that's the way that happens. Oh, oh, this is just gonna get so, bigger. Now it's exceptional. I was trying to get Nate doing the walk in the background. I, 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 I try. I'm cat size. I'm sorry. I'm so starstruck. <laughs> that's, that's a real baby. I could kiss or something. <laughs> Folks, Josh Briscoe, a ten. There we go. All right, hey, so, so we're how all are back. you guys? <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. This is... I'm outside of a used car dealership right now. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Josh with Wayne Yards. Wacky wobbly weevil. This is why we're not live, folks. Uh, sure. So on the day, a couple of new players got out there. Uh, Breland stood out. Um, Josh yes. will have thoughts later somewhere yes. else. Yeah. Nate, you. Correct. Uh, uh, anything stand out for you today? Uh, Frank Clark against uh, Mitchell Schwartz. Yeah. That, that oh. was something that we had not seen uh, much in camp because he was on the opposite side, one right. against Eric Fisher, and Eric Fisher is probably thankful that right. they yeah. got a day off. Got a day off. Uh, got a day off from, from you know the guy who's one of the best pass rushers in the league. But Mitchell Schwartz did really well on some snaps. Some snaps, uh, Frank Clark sort of you know jumped yep. inside on him and sort of caught him. Yeah, his lateral movement stands out, right? Yes, it, it does. And so uh, there was one play where I think. Patrick threw to Sammy Watkins for a long touchdown, and uh, that's weird. Mitchell Schwartz got Frank Clark on that one, so that yeah. was that was interesting. Uh, Schwartz is really really good against some of the the long arms and bull rushes. His hand placement is so superior mm -hmm. that Clark's usual Wiggle. array of moves, yeah. yeah, it doesn't quite do what it normally does against most guys. Mm -hmm. Schwartz handles those power moves better than almost anyone else because right. he's so much better with his hand placement. So that's a really good matchup yeah. for Clark because it forces him to work on his counters. Well, well. It's, a great, it's a great matchup for Schwartz as well. I mean, he's going against one of the best pass rushers in the NFL mm -hmm. every day in practice. And Mitchell Schwartz is probably one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL already, so it's just going to make both of them better. So yeah. you got to like that. On Schwartz, anybody notice any lingering things from the back issue? He looked a little ginger at first to me, but... I, 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 I don't know why his hair color would this. be so important to you, Ryan. <laughs> I just I, don't understand. I, I didn't notice. You can't run the ball without him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, like I, I actually didn't. I actually didn't think about that today because I, I was kind of thinking about that Saturday. Yeah. But he didn't play so many. He only played like yeah, a couple of right. So you don't. Yeah. He doesn't show up. It's like but four that is a, snaps that is and you're done. Point. Yeah. Well, it was interesting watching him walk in. I and I'll be honest, I haven't watched enough of him actually just walking into practice. So I don't know if that's just the way he is and he's just taking it easy or was being ginger because it did. It did look like he was going a little slower than you would expect. But, sure. uh, you know, who knows at this point in his career. That was, a, that was a good matchup. But as far as people that stand out, um, Tyree Kill, I was saying this to Nate, and I think I <laughs> tweeted, he's faster. Yes. Like, he's quicker. Yes. And it's just like, man, Looks like you have something to prove. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's just it's just absurd how, how well he does. But despite that, there was one snap where, I, I don't know, Nate was off doing something important, I'm assuming. Yeah. But we watched, and, and Juan Thornhill ran step for step with him down yeah, the field. Uh -huh. yeah. And I was just like, I've literally never seen anyone do that with, uh, with with Hill, which the longer time goes by, the more my pre-draft take on Juan Thornhill looks stupid and wrong. So that's, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, that's, hey. that's well, I, I was worried about explosions, but maybe it really was accurate that it was more of a mental thing because he had to do so many things in college. It's yeah. like, well, next snap you're going to be the defensive end, actually, and this snap you're going to play, you know, free safety. It just right. it, it caused anyone to slow down. So, but that Hill just stands out, um, and. I was saying this, I think, to, to Chris. If it weren't for the existence of Tyreek Hill, we would all be freaking out about how fast McCole Hardman is. <laughs> right, because right. Because he makes everyone else look slow. Oh, yeah. He's, he, he's like, right there. Like, he's got, like, that Deshaun Jackson speed. And mm. I'm, like, I'm here for this. Yeah. Well, well honestly, honestly, every practice, honestly, Nate, so yes. when, when we look at those two guys, Hardman, and especially Thornhill, it looks like he's, he's quick on the read. He gets his direction. He takes good angles from what yes. I saw today. Uh -huh. 
Any concerns about him and his ascension, what it looks like to the, to the top team? The only thing that I would be worried about is he's good instinctually on, a, on, a, on, a, on an initial read. And so will teams, as you get in those first couple double. of weeks, will they use double moves to sort of, you know, get him to be a little bit hesitant? But in terms of tackling, that was the big thing on Saturday was like, the biggest quarterbacks couldn't get the ball down the field. Well, so at least he could tackle in, in open space <laughs> for the first go round. I'm choosing to believe that's because the defense was playing so, so well. Yeah, yes. yes. like just where you're closing those windows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and they were like, "Oh, uh, normally I don't just know." Dump it off. Oh, just dump it off. Yep. No, I, I think Juan is probably going to be the starter week one yeah. unless something really crazy you happens. You mean week one? Oh, no, look at that. I'm sorry. He's completely come around, yeah, folks. Week one. So <laughs> he should I'm be, sorry. He should be the week one starter. And think about this. There could be plays in which Tyron Matthew, Daniel Sorson, Juan Thornhill are all on the all field. There. All on the field together, mm-hmm. depending on personnel. So that's something that she didn't have at all last year. And I think that'll be beneficial to Steve Spagnuolo sort of steam moving forward. Well, and you start talking about offense, flipping it over from the other side of defense. You know, you start looking at Hardman, Watkins, and Hill. And we only saw one snap from Hill on Saturday. And there was, I, I don't even remember him seeing, I, I, I didn't remember him being on the field. I had to go back and look at his snap. It's like, Tyreek, line up right there and kind of do this. And then you'll be done. <laughs> like, okay. yeah. So at this point, you have those three guys that are going to be starting wide receivers. Yes. How are you going to defend that? Because as a defense, any of those guys can burn you. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> there's, there's no, you're there's prob- no. Go, go ahead. And, well, I was just going to say, and that jet sweep that they had Hardman do, that's a great thing for Tyreek Hill to do, but Hardman yes. shows that he has the ability to do it and plant and go, too. It's, it's going to be so great against quarters. They're going <laughs> to have, they're gonna have. you know, last year, one thing they did, they had, you know, the, the jet sweep motion one way and then having someone right. come the other way. They're going to have snaps where they're having guys move the opposite way. It's going to be Hill and Hardman. It's going to look very CFL-ish, oh, I'm, I'm but, gonna, but it's going to be gonna amazing. I'm going to pass out. Yeah. You know, well, oh, I'm so I have excited. to ask you about this because I talked to Ryan about this. So the interesting part to me on this was they actually brought out a jet, a jet sweep in preseason. Mm-hmm. Yes. They don't show anything in preseason. I can't, I can't. So can you imagine what it's going to be like during the regular season when the real plays come out? Look, because everybody knows they do the jet sweep. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I just imagine, I can't imagine what, my, what Reed's doing at this point. My best part, uh, the best part of last year, and I, I've, I've tried to t- explain it to fans here and there, but last year we saw things in the you know training camp where it's like, okay, I kind of see, I kind of see, wrinkles of right. stuff like yep. stuff the fact that andy shows something right in the first game <laughs> right he's fleshing should terrify doug he doesn't even, right? should like, literally he, he As, doesn't even care anymore he's like guys come on so so well, anthony lynn last year we were on the conference call this is on wednesday before opening night or opening day against the chargers and we just sort of asked him hey man patrick played one game it was kind of meaningless but think? he showed he showed he could do some things you know andy reed's got all this stuff cooked up how you how you hanging, man? How you how you living? How you living? <laughs> and NFL coaches never do this on conference calls with the visiting teams media, where they where basically Anthony just said, "Yeah, we know he has things cooked up. We know we're not ready, <laughs> and well, and well, and we know that like uh, we're, and, he, he basically alluded to the fact that like yeah, we're screwed. We're, we yeah. we well, know. And then they just got dunked nothing. on too with yeah. those with those touch passes. They here, just if, dunked here, on him. It's like Anthony oh, Thomas scored no. the easiest touchdown in NFL history, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And you're talking and you're talking about how Andy Reid will start showing some things in, in training camp. We saw one of those things last week when I was here. Where they lined up in a, what I thought was a triple I formation. Mm-hmm. Yes, what is oh, that? God, for the love of the team. <laughs> I mean, and, oh. you're talking, and you're talking wide receivers in the backfield. You're not talking Are they the gonna running run backs. The yeah. Hey, yeah. I mean, you're just sitting there going, five wide, give me, give me some of that field. twenty-two there, there, there personnel. Could be, there could be plays where uh, Darwin Thompson is lined up at wide receiver, right? But the two guys next to Patrick in the shotgun are Tyreek Hill and Nicole Hardman. Just, just a thought. I'm just, so happy. It could happen. I'm it so could happy. happen. So. There Look. could be a five running back set, I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you allowed to put more than four tackles on the field at once? So Doug Ryan Ma- wants to know. Doug Marone. Um, <laughs> good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, it's so oh, bad. They're going to come out with Chris Jones and Colin Saunders in the same <laughs> in the backfield. You know that's going to happen at some point during the right. season. I, just, I, I think it would be really funny if the very first snap of the season they lined up with seriously like like – 
like 32 personnel, just like super heavy, heavy yeah. and just like, what are you doing? I'm so and then motion this. out to an empty set or something. It's like, oh yeah, that's that's all okay, great. Yeah, yeah. And so it's it's gonna be so bad, and I I'm glad you bring that yes. up. Like what happened last yeah, year? Everybody tell me that story. And I, and that's I just, so funny. And so the best part is that is like, so Anthony Lynn doesn't have any idea what's coming. First, but he knows it's coming. But he knows it's coming. <laughs> and the first touch, Hunter puts it a little too far and take it to the house. <laughs> yeah, right. So, so it doesn't like, matter. So it's like you're already down. Right. Yeah. And the offense hasn't touched the ball. When you know they got plays schemed up for what you've done yeah, yeah, that you have no answer to. You just see him on the sideline like, yes, guys, yeah, I don't yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to go Just turn around. There. Let's go. We'll right. play them again later in the year. So, hey, if you're Doug. Score first. Yeah. Don't let the right. field get a punt opportunity. <laughs> you be so doing. You will be doing way better than what the Chargers do. But here's right. here's the thing that we're not even talking about right now with week one. They're playing Nick Foles. Yes. That is going to be crazy because you know there is probably not a coach out there that knows Nick Foles better than Andy Reid. Yeah. Uh, maybe I, maybe Doug bro. Peterson later in his as yeah. Yeah, maybe. His career. Maybe. But but yeah, like there's only like three guys who really know him, and Andy's one of them. Right. And Nick Foles. Nick Foles may uh, <laughs> Nick Foles in a in a comeback effort in the second half. Yeah, there get, you get on it, fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Get on it. It's gonna be the so, first. T D Westbrook, Chris Conley. Yeah, yeah, get, some get on it. I mean, they, you know. It, <laughs> Nick Foles in the second half might be something might be something to watch because he may force some balls in there right. given the circumstances. So you're right. I mean, they they know what his limits are. Right, and, they and know that's that, the big thing. And they know that Patrick has no limits. So yeah. right. this is the limit does not exist. Mean yeah. Girls quote. Oh, well done. Ah, Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Yeah. Golf Thank clap you. for everyone. Yeah. Um, really I think s- that's our time for today. <laughs> Before we go any farther, because Mean Girls is where I cut it all off. So we'll have more for you on the podcast. Thanks for watching. <laughs>